So we made it to Bariloche and here we are. So we took a plane around like two hours from Buenos Aires to Bariloche. And then once that you come to the airport here, it's very easy to go around. You can take a taxi, which is a bit more expensive. The bus we couldn't take because we don't have the Sube card until now. And so we took a minivan and it was 3,500 uh, pesos per person, which is around like six euro or so. And yeah, then in around like half an hour, we we made it to the center and it looks so so nice already here so first impression is already very very nice and there's a lake and everything it is very beautiful we will show you in a second and yeah so we are staying at the Bariloche hostel and it's super nice it's very like hippie kind of style and uh, we will just show you so I uh, yeah I will show you the room now so here we have a bed very good very comfortable there we have Leo <laughs> And this is our view. view. That is party. amazing. Yeah. Hello. And then we have a bathroom. Super nice, very clean, I have to say. Very, very nice. And a shower. So if you're wondering, it's a hostel, so you can have mixed uh, dorm rooms, but you can also have uh, private rooms. And uh, yeah, we prefer, of course, to have a bit more privacy. So we choose um, a private room, a double room <laughs> for Leo, for only Leo and me. And it was for three nights, uh, around 100 euros or so. So very, very good price. And now we're just gonna go and uh, change our clothes and then we will explore Bariloche because it's only like four o'clock in the afternoon. So we have a lot of time because the sun is uh, setting at nine, which is very cool. And yeah, so let's see what Bariloche has to offer. Okay, so before we can do anything, have to eat something because we are so hungry and we checked up online one place that has like vegan vegetarian food and it's called Chimney Daily Cocina Natural and yeah here is where we are eating now and we will show you the food that we're gonna order because honestly we were eating so much good things but in the same time bad things the last day so every once in a while we need some vegetables and something a bit more healthy Well, guys, we just finished to eat in this really good restaurant. The name was um, Chimi Deli. They had a vegetarian salad sandwich, really nice during the daytime. And also during the nighttime, they have another type of dishes, a little bit more elaborated. So thumbs up, this was really, really good. So this morning we had a nice little chat with the owner here of the hostel, his name is Charlie. He's super nice and very helpful if you want to do some trips here around Bariloche and stuff. So he will help you definitely. And every morning he prepares also breakfast. So we had some coffee and tea, orange juice, some little um, facturas, which is like a typical Ar uh, Argentinian, like mini croissants and some uh, bakery things. And yeah, yesterday we also get our Sube card. So I don't know, here in Bariloche we paid, I think it was 2000 uh, pesos. I think that they cheated us a bit because I read that um, it's a bit cheaper, normally between 500 and 1000, but it's okay. It's not that much anyway. So we um, bought the card and we recharged it with 5000 pesos because I think each trip is around like 300 something. 
and you can use one card for two people so that's very good and yeah now we are ready and we want to explore uh, Bariloche a bit uh, we're gonna go to a very nice viewpoint and yeah we will show you that later but first of all I need to show you the view from our bedroom it's just so so beautiful I mean just look at that okay that's just so 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 beautiful right you see that that's very nice huh and it's very strange because Leo and me we just talked about it earlier we've never seen a view like that I mean yeah, we saw mountains obviously but here it's very strange because it looks like a flat valley or I don't know it's a flat forest or something that goes like kilometers and kilometers inside and then just in one moment is coming all the mountains it's just uh, the view is very nice and yeah so now we are ready let's go Well, that's the Centro Civico and there's also the tourist information and over there is the beautiful lake. Just have a look at this. Wow. So in the evening you have a little like a night market here, like artisanal market and stuff like that. People playing bongos and people just hanging around, watching the sunset and stuff. It's a very nice vibe. And yeah, as I said earlier, we will go and uh, to the viewpoint now, but before we get some little snakes, some empanadas and stuff. <laughs> so let's go. go. The bus was super super packed okay we were like this <laughs> like sardines in the in the bin no in the can how you say you know and um yeah so to come here you have to go in the center there's a bus station at the library i guess it was and then you have to take the bus number 20 and it takes around like half an hour or so and until you come to the what's the name cerro campanario yeah okay that's the beautiful viewpoint that we are going on there is a chairlift that you can take to go up and back down. At the moment the price is 7,000 um, pesos. pesos. Um, but I think that we're gonna walk because we've been kind of lazy the last days and you know, going out in nature and stuff like that, is, I think it's better. <laughs> As you see, it's two hours front and back, and we're gonna we're gonna go by walk. So let's go. The air is really nice here. Yeah. So fresh, huh? Clear, clear. The soil is so different in Argentina. I mean, it depends where in Argentina you are, but here is very dark. Eh? Yeah. I never see something like that. So it's easy, but not that easy in the same time because um, the soil is not uh, 
solid is more like a sand so it's uh, not so easy to go up but it's very nice very very nice right yeah <laughs> How you feel? Good, but it's, it's a bit it's not difficult, but it goes very steep up and up and up, but only five minutes and we are there. And I have to say, I mean, you see, we are not sweating like crazy because the climate here is so, 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 so different. It's so dry here. It's just beautiful. And almost all the way is just like in between the trees and in the shade. So it's uh, very manageable. It's amazing guys, check it out, we made it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The view is amazing, huh? yeah. it's so beautiful. I know let's go on. Like yeah. yeah. Never see something like this. Mm -hmm. Not even in Switzerland. No. It's different. Because it's big. Seven lakes, I believe that is. No, it was so worth it to walk up because the view is just so, 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 so beautiful. Honestly, it's like I've never seen something like that because you see a lake on one side and then there's all these forests and then it's somehow connected to another lake. It's like very, very nice. Definitely something you should do. I believe that is so beautiful and I didn't know that I have so such a beautiful country. It's amazing. Yeah. Full of green, full of nature, you know. Amazing. Ah, wow. Nice, huh? And there's still uh, snow a bit on top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Because those are <laughs> over 2,000 meters. Over 2,000 meters, always, you will be a little bit of snow, even in summertime. The weather is fantastic, guys. Blue sky, it is about 25, 30 degrees? No, less. No, less. Five. And dry. And there's a coffee place that you can get something, or if you have your own stuff, you can sit on the terraces. And then there down there's also a toilet. I don't know if in your country it's six days, but here in Argentina we have like sandwiches de miga. That means sandwich that is made with bread but without, you know, the ah, without crust. The, the mm -hmm. crust. Okay. Like in three layers. I mean, there's nothing better than just enjoying a beautiful view, having a cola, a sandwich, and just relax a bit. And honestly, it's so beautiful here. We've never seen something like that. It's just, it's mind blowing. <coughs> so if you continue a few steps more behind the coffee place, then you come to this amazing view. Honestly, when I saw it the first time, I get goosebumps because mountain wise, I think it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Yeah. And this is not easy to top now. <laughs> no. How you can top this? No. It's is that? It's endless. Look at that. If you zoom it and zoom it, look. If you zoom it, zoom it, zoom it, look. Continue all day on yeah. the lake. I had 
decided here to use the lift to go down, but I'm very afraid of heights. Okay, very. So now I'm thinking like maybe hey, it was not a good idea, <laughs> but now there is no way back. So it's only seven minutes. Seven minutes can be very long. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. It's so beautiful, but I'm so fucking scared of it. Yeah. Me too, eh? It's I believe it's my first time that I go in there. I've never been in that area. Zip line. Look at this girl. This girl is crying. Are you crying? I want to know when Oh, why? Why are we stopping? Yeah. But now we see. No. This you don't put up. You know? I, I guess. God. Estoy moviendo. I fight your fears, or what? How was it? Fight your fears. 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 Let's move, let's move, let's move. Turbulencia. It's the worst when they stop. Honestly, I don't know. When I was young, I was not. Okay, my father always said like, Oh, Nadine, she's not even scared of the devil. Because I was like roller coasters, high, up and down. And I was not scared at all. Zero. And in one moment, when you get old, like I am now, this year I'm gonna get something for here. Okay? Yeah. And then you have to be scared of everything. I would like to have that childish, not thinking about nothing. Again, you know, that kind of lifestyle. I don't know how to say it. Yeah. I know we are almost there. <laughs> Very good, eh? Bravo! We made it! We made it! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we were waiting for the bus over there in the front of the Cerro Campanario and with the idea to go to Colonia San... Okay, to Colonia... Uh, Suiza. Suiza. One local told us that we walk like 500 meters through the road a little bit more there is a bus that is empty and it's more often. So at the end we didn't took a bus <laughs> because there was just no bus coming. I have to say it's a bit not so good organized but um, yeah if you have Cabify really 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 it's so useful this app so we took a taxi and it was like three euros or so so it was very affordable and uh, very easy and it's so packed this place but I mean it's a hot summer day and yeah so now we're gonna show you around and maybe we're gonna eat something as well let's see What do you think? It's not that cold, no? We did it in Lago de Gala, it was more cold. Yes, it was, really cold. It was so cold. It was like in, in August that we went there, no? June. Yeah, but one thing is, if you go there, but if you go to here, what? Si. Let's try. No. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> the real Argentinian grill master. <laughs> we order filet mignon. So as an Argentinian, how is it? The steak, you like it? Spectacular. Perfect. And check it out, this. <laughs> mm. Very good, no? We just have a nice dinner here, parrilla, a beautiful lomo in La Parrilla de Tony. So if you have fancy to go and you don't know where to go, we highly recommend you this place because it's so good. So we're gonna let all the, you know, all the info in the info box, right? We are here in Playa Bonita, it's to very close, like maybe 10 minutes from Bariloche Center. As you see, you can have, there is a lake with a beautiful beach, transparent water. And also some services like snorkeling, kayaks, and other services. Well. There is a few, a few restaurants as well, for you can have a break and eat something and enjoy the day. of wood of um, what's the name of tree tree trunks and you can sit there and it's very nice huh? super nice it's our last day today here in Bariloche and yeah sadly we just had a few days because there's a lot a lot a lot of things to explore and there's so many hikes that you can do but if there's one hike that you have to do is the one that we did yesterday uh, to go to the viewpoint and the, what was the name again? Cerro Campanario. Yeah. It's like, I think even the, the owner from the hostel, he said like, anything else you see after that, is just not the same, huh? because it's impossible to top that view. It was so, so nice. And yeah, today we're here at this um, lake. What's the name of the lake? Nahal Nawapi. Nahuel Wapi. And <coughs> yeah, we just wanted to rent a kayak over there. But the thing is, it's a bit sad because you can go... Wait, I will show you. So you can only go from that boy yeah, or something like that. A bit up and down and so that's not so worth it, I guess. So yeah, it's a bit sad. So if I want to rent a kayak, I, we were thinking that we can go over there towards the island or something. But you can go like maybe, I don't know, 20 meters inside and that was all. So it's a bit of pity, so we say, okay, let's not rent a kayak. So yeah, we're gonna go and maybe get something to drink now because um, we've been a bit in the water, but it's freezing cold. Huh? It's like, I don't know, ice cold. <laughs> but anyway, nice to refresh yourself a bit and to sit there and enjoy nature. And yeah, and then tomorrow we continue to El Bolson, which I'm very excited because they are so nice hikes to do. And yeah, but we will get into that in the next video and now we're gonna continue so one thing that i don't like here, this lake is that there's not one single toilet okay and i mean there are a few restaurants but they are very very strict so if you're not customer there you, they will just not let you go to the toilet and i think that's not cool because there's a lot of kids and stuff like that a lot of people and maybe you're enjoying some beers here and stuff like that and of course in one moment you have to pee or whatever and so yeah they definitely should advance that Well guys, after a walk uh, more or less like 800 meters high, <laughs> we are finally in the place that uh, we get recommendation by some friends. Uh, 
uh, the name is Miti Ache. Yes, and we are just here now. They have very nice things in the menu, I have to say. And yeah, let's see. I think we're gonna continue to eat a bit more healthy stuff. And yeah, let's see what we're gonna get. Yeah. It's really not easy what to choose because they have so many nice things. They have like poke bowl, hummus, uh, no, couscous bowl. They have like typical fish from here. Trucho is the name, right? Trucha. Trucha. <laughs> and like everything on the menu is so nice. And I don't know what to choose. This is Trucha. <laughs> what are you gonna take? Um, I'm choosing the drinks and I believe that I'm gonna have like kombucha and water because I never tried kombucha so let's see yeah. and I believe that I'm gonna go with the wok uh, with teriyaki chicken and vegetables mm. nice. that's it yeah I think I'm gonna go for the poppy wok so the food looks like top 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 just look at this so yummy yeah we're gonna enjoy now we can tell you the food here was top, top, top. It was so delicious. And um, everything is just fresh and homemade and you can taste it. They put a lot of love in the food. And now we're going to get something sweet for later with tea. Yeah. Look all the things they have. So nice. Everything looks so good, huh? Yeah. Okay. This is going to take one by my and then one by one thing that I wanted to say is that in Bariloche here, the streets are crazy. You have to be a bit fit to walk, I have to say, because it goes so steep up and down. Sometimes it feels like hiking or something. It's like in Kopangan. chocolate because there are so many like chocolate houses and it's very very nice we will show you now one oh they have like um, alfajor they have alfajor with different kind of uh, flavors like some you can make your own box it's like um I think it's like the Turkish honey, we say. You even have chocolate to make chocolate fondue, okay? That's amazing. I'm so excited because uh, there are some people here in the street dancing tango and it's my first time ever seeing people dancing tango here in Argentina, so it's a must see. I already said to Leo, I cannot leave the country before I didn't saw somebody dancing tango. So let's see. Emotion, living of emotion? You gonna cry? No. Well guys, after uh, three days here in Mariloche, we have to say that today is our last day. So we're gonna go tomorrow to El Bolson. And something more that you want to say? No, that's all. And Look, see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you there. Look at that, guys. That's not beautiful.